Morning all, it is Saturday morning, site is nice and quiet and I'm, on, I'm here on a site of five houses we built in an affluent area in Berkshire and I'm going to tell you lot what we charge to build them. First, can you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and let's get to it. Is money a dirty word? Why is profit a dirty word in, in, in the business game and in the building game? It shouldn't be. We are in this game to make a profit and to make money. We love building multi-million pound houses, we love what we do, but ultimately we're doing it to make money. Alright, this is how we earn our living. If you I, I get a lot of people saying, how do I make the jump? How do I change into, into contracting? Unless you're working at between a 20 and a 30% profit margin at the minimum, you are not going to be able to build and scale a, a company, all right? A lot of people try and work, you know, we work for ourselves, but they do it on day work. It's very, very difficult, impossible in my opinion, to scale a, an, um, a successful, sustainable business on day work. So when I first started working for myself, I was about 21 or 22 years old. And the first job I ever won was £11,000. At the time, I was on £125 a day. And 11 grand to me was a massive number. I couldn't get my head around it. So the reason for doing this video today is because I know a lot of you are reaching out to me saying, how much do you charge? How do I go from being a bricklayer to a contractor? What do I need to do? So I thought, actually, I'm going to give you a walk around to this site and I'm going to tell you what we charge for each house. There's five of them. This one behind me is 3,200 square foot. Plot four is 3,000 square foot. There's a pair of semis up the top. And there's a plot three is about 2,500 square foot, I believe. Um, I'm gonna tell you what we charge. Okay, so this one behind me is plot five. This was the first house we built on this job. As a company, we invoice per lift, all right? So we have the total price for the house and then we break that down into lifts. Our price that I'm gonna tell you is above DPC, right? So substructure, the splash course or the wrap round, whatever you wanna call it, was an extra and over, all right? So the price I'm about to tell you is from DPC to finished height, labor only. So what that means is that, that amount of money was for us to turn up on site with our tools and build it. It was no materials, it was literally just the labor, all right? The price for plot, four, uh, plot five, was £34,292, labour only, above DPC, all right? For that, it's a double plinth, there's a dental course all the way around above the windows, uh, that includes gables, you've got the arches over the two front windows, um, and there's some internal internal walls as well. So nice and, nice and um, nice sim fairly simple builds. The bottom brickwork, so the reds, is done out of a Cassandra brick, and the yellow bricks are a Smeed Dean. This is plot four. This was the second house we built on this site. And to build this above DPC is slightly different to plot five. Um, plot five is 3,200 square foot. This is about 3,000 square foot. And to build this one, we charged 30,544 quid above DPC. So this is plot one and plot two. They were the last plots we built on this site. No, they weren't. <laughs> so this is plot one and plot two. They're still still being finished. They're just putting the road in. There's a few little bits, bits and pieces to do, but the brickwork side of it's finished. And to build plot one and two, we charge 40,000 pounds above DPC. And this is plot three. This is the last house we built on this job. All right, and we charged 25,410 pound above DPC. So the total cost that we charged for this build above DPC is 130,046 quid. That was without extra and overs and without any substructure. That's what we charged to build these houses. Guys, I hope that's helped you. I know how difficult it can be when you start a construction company to work out whether your pricing is is, is right, okay? And I know when I started dealing with big numbers, it scared the shit out of me. Um, and I, you know, 
I had to change my mindset for, for, to be able to negotiate and win projects like this. I had to lose the day rate mindset or the price work mindset and, and, and turn into a, a contractor and a subby mindset. Um, so I hope that has helped. We will create whatever content you guys want to see. The idea of this channel is to be completely transparent. There's a lot of people on YouTube that put up videos about laying a thousand bricks in 20 minutes. We're not one of those, those channels. This is a genuine, honest, inside view into an active construction company, an active brickwork contracting business. Um, there is so many factors that go into pricing a job. The other thing is experience is absolutely essential in your trade, okay? I'll give you an example. This dental course, if, you haven't, if you're pricing a job that's got a dental course on and you don't know your linear meterage rate for your dental course, what you can do is you can, if you're experienced at your job, you can work out how long it will take to build. Okay, <clears throat> for example, I know if we, if we allow for argument's sake 500 bricks a day, I can work out how many bricks are in it and then I can take some off because I know that I'll probably only lay about 300 if I'm doing dental course. I can work out how long the flank is and I can work out my meterage rate from that and then add 20% profit margin on top. Right? Don't forget the profit margin, you've got to make a profit to scale and build a construction company or any company. All right, so experience is essential. Again, with the arches, what do I charge for an arch? I know how long it will take me because I've been laying bricks 20 years. I know, I know how long a certain thing will take, whether it's a herringbone panel, whether it's a flint garden wall, whether it's a dental course. All right, we can always work our price back to how long it will take us plus our profit margin, and that is all based on experience. Okay, so if you don't know what to charge and you haven't done that work before, seek out somebody that has. Talk, there's always someone out there that knows the answer to your question, so definitely reach out and ask. Drop a um, comment below, and I'll, I'll tell you if I know. Um, you know, of, of, you know, if you're stuck with a project or whatever else, I'll, I'll help wherever I can. That is the idea of this channel, is to add value to you guys, genuine value. All right, please like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys next week.